when master spy Dirk Bannon fell in love with his Russian arch-rival Natalia Nokomov, things could only get complicated. Now they've been decommissioned and are supposed to be living a normal life with their three children. Spike, the wannabe secret agent, Elle, happily retired, and the rather odd Boris. But could this family ever be normal? Not when you've got parents with a license to embarrass. for boneheads. Boris, guard the door. I don't want your mother to see this. Why not? Because she already thinks I can dance. See? I danced up a storm at our wedding. So why do you need to learn? Because that wasn't me. It wasn't you at your wedding. Some of it was. I did the I do part and the honeymoon part. And in case you're wondering, I am your father. I just couldn't dance. So I got my double to do it. Your what? Double. Bert Spigot. Back then, all top operatives had doubles. Confused the heck out of the bad guys. They're not the only ones. Point is, your mother fell for Dirk Bannon, Lord of the Dance. Now she wants me to boogie with her at the school disco on Friday. I'm dancing to save my marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious, my little cyanide capsule. Well, I'm off to Desi's Cafe for some practice. Uh, uh, coffee drinking practice, obviously. You may be excused, Boris. I need a new outfit for the school dance. My first one, I'm so looking forward to it. Leather is always good, offset by cleavage. Although you want to take into account what your boyfriend is wearing. Boyfriend? Eldirskaya! You cannot go to dance alone. No Nokomov has ever gone to dance without hottie boy on arm. And I'm including weird Uncle Dimitri. Well, I can dance fine without backup. And if not, I'll just dance with Donna's boyfriend. Donna has hottie boyfriend? But she has such thick ankles. How can this be? What have ankles got to do with it? Yours are slender and perfect like Momsky's. Yet no boyfriend. Puzzling. Spike! Yet so fast. Please explain. What is it? Recruitment leaflet for MI5 surveillance and data ops team. S A D O. The Sados. They spend all day watching people, eavesdropping, reviewing surveillance footage. It's brilliant, and I'm going to apply. Do you know how they get that footage? Hack into satellite feeds while eating donuts. One day of week, rest of time they are dangling from helicopter, sprinting through minefield in war zone. My little spike is not going to do that. <laughs> it's mainly donuts. And besides, I can do all that action stuff if I wanted to. Easy. Mamsky does not want you to do it. Now. Let's talk about what you will wear to dance. I am not going to the school dance. No way, ever, under any circumstances, OK? He is so going to be there. Mumsky has spoken. You sound like Mum. What's the big deal? The big deal is going to a dance without a boyfriend is like going snorkeling without a snorkel. I think Donna could use a snorkel. And you just wouldn't do that, would you? Actually, I have been trained to hold my breath for up to six oh, minutes at a time. Oh, uh, I cannot go to this dance without a boy. Please do not make me. OK. So you're saying that the typical normal way of enjoying a school dance is with a boy. And then we'll get boyfriends. How hard can it be? Well, boyfriends are tricky little things. You can't just pick anyone. Well, 
I won't. I'll choose them very, very carefully. For starters, I won't pick anyone that's good looking, cos I don't want lots of other girls looking at my boyfriend, do I? I guess not. And I won't pick anyone that's bossy, cos I hate bossy people. Yeah, I can't bear it with... Mossy, quiet, I'm thinking. <laughs> Norris! Congratulations. You're my new boyfriend. What? What the heck did you have for breakfast? Chili cheese and onion crisps. <laughs> They're lovely. But so are you. Oh, thanks. Can I touch your boob? <laughs> Travis, stop using my equipment to check the football scores and get me a stack of support. Um, you've got an email. <laughs> it's Commander X, head of the Sando unit. He got my application. He wants to interview me on Friday. Friday? No, you miss a school dance. <sighs> the tiramisu is always excellent. I am not going to the school dance. <laughs> this will show my mum. I'm a bit young to be an MI5. They don't know that. I told them I was a student teacher. As well as the interviewing questionnaire, candidates are expected to complete one field mission designed to reveal their bravery and physical agility. Hard luck. So what are you going to wear to the dance? Thought I'd go in my cream jacket? Matching non slip ties. Here we are. The official records of every boy in the school. From these, we shall find your perfect match. The data is filtered based on your personal profile. Now, I've loaded a standard MI. MySpace profiling quiz. Name Marty Desmond. Height. Okay. Hair and eye colour. Okay. Now, interests. Um, shopping. Films, um, vegetable paninis, <laughs> um, Orlando Bloom. Okay, favourite colour? Oh, brown, like Orlando's eyes. Favourite film star? Orlando Bloom. <laughs> okay, favourite gun? <laughs> I will skip that one. Kill ratio? <laughs> and that. Okay, finished. OK, so, um, what happens now? Well, now the computer matches all your personal data with all the other data from every boy in the school and... Ben Arnold. Hunky Ben. But he would never go out with me and I've always thought the handsome, sporty type were a bit thick. Marcy, <laughs> no one said this was going to be easy. If Ben was easy, then everyone would have him. But they can't because he's yours. The computer said so. Now, let's go get him. It's really lucky that the door was broken. Yeah. <laughs> the snow is pure in Moscow. And Wednesday is half day closing. Also, combat sneakers. Not quite, man. Normal AC sneakers makes the wearer an instant black belt in all martial arts. I have modified these to make him an expert in all known dances. You're a genius. Let's test them. <laughs> ben. Hi, I'm Elle Bannon. Meet your girlfriend, Marcy Desmond. Hi. I don't have a girlfriend. I know. And frankly, people were starting to notice. Notice. Don't worry. That's all behind you now. All the loneliness and the sniggering and the questions. Does he like brass band music? Does he prefer boys? Does he smell? Don't worry if you do. Marcy's very tolerant. Am I? Yeah, look, I don't really know Life what's going on. Life is so confusing, isn't it? Especially for a guy without a girlfriend. Lucky you've got a girlfriend, eh? Yeah. I mean, no. My work here is done. I shall leave you to lovebirds alone. This is fantastic! I'm a hoofer! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, no! Sorry! Take him off! Take him off! I can't! Software's got a few bugs. You think so? Yeah. Look, man, you can't use these. Look. Yeah. I'm recalling them. Sorry. I'll teach you to dance instead. I still don't get it. 
I mean, what's so great about pairing off with someone from the opposite sex? Huh? <laughs> Remember to breathe. I hate them. Every relationship has its ups and downs. He's just told me that he fancied somebody else. Who? You, he thinks you're very forceful. Oh, that's so gross. Doesn't he already know I have a lovely, well, boyfriend? <laughs>